Hello, Teacher Kim here. So, I've been asked the question, what do you do if a parent is guiding their child during your class? I teach mostly children. The majority of my schedule is filled with children of different ages, some of them very young, some of them older, and many times parents are involved. I've had some parents who will um, try to control the classroom, meaning that you say something, they repeat it, or they say it before you, they'll read the screen before you can give instructions, and they're trying to guide their children. One way I handle this situation is to thank the parent. If it is a minor thing, if they're very young, and the parent is just trying to help, then I don't say a thing or I will say thank you. If the parent is getting overly involved, then maybe you need to say, Mom, let's let Jimmy try this time. Let's let him give it a shot on his own. Or, thank you for your help. Let's try it this way. Um, always be respectful. The parent is the paying client. That five-year-old student in your classroom did not sit there and pay for those classes. Always respect the parent and the client. They are the client. What do you do if the parent, the child is not paying attention and the parent is trying to help them? Then you help the parent. You bring out the props, you bring out the toys, and you get the child's attention. It's not hard to do. You can get a child distracted with a toy, with something fun or many different ways the goal is again to get them connected into the classroom bring the student back for example I had a student earlier who she's five but she speaks English fairly well she's about level four or five and um, <clears throat> she's really fun and she always gives a great full sentence explanation mom speaks English well and mom's always nearby Mom does not interfere, she just encourages. Well, the student didn't want to participate earlier, so mom turned the camera to her. Well, the student turned the camera toward mom. And so mom said, okay, it's my turn. And mom went ahead and read. And so they made it into a competition. Well, when they did that, mom got a star, student got a star. Mom got a star, student got a star. And so I'm, we made it into a competition and the student paid attention. There are ways to incorporate the parents there are ways to get them to help you get their child involved and also build their trust. The more they see you are engaging their student, interacting with their student, helping their child to learn, the more they see their child really kind of focused and paying attention, the more likely they're going to start backing off. Many parents are new to this online learning. They're new to having their child out there. Normally they send their child to school, their child learns, they come home and do their homework and maybe they help with homework. When they're looking at this platform, they're looking at like a way to help with homework. So keep that in mind that these parents are just wanting to do what's best for their child. With that in mind and knowing that that parent is your friend, you can make them work with you. You can have them work with you, but you don't say, Mom, do this. Mom, do that. Mom, don't do this. Always, always be encouraging. Always focus your attention on the child. And mom will start to back off. Or dad. I generally have moms, but dads have been there too. And dad will kind of start to back off a little bit. You will also find that after a while, the child will start building their confidence. And then they might, shh, mom or dad. I've had it happen. Even with my younger children, they get very engaged in our lesson and mom's over there trying to say something and they'll go, shh. And then they'll say, Lao Shi, talking about the teacher, the teacher is speaking, so shh. Sweetest thing ever when it happens, but just make sure that you um, incorporate the parent as best you can. Focus your attention on the child and help the parent to understand that you've got this. You know what you're doing. All right, if you have any questions, comments, please ask, and I will see you next time, okay? Bye.